Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Very well. Welcome to the English class. Ok. Estamos ya. ¿Cómo va con la plataforma? En el examen estoy. Allí estoy todavía en el... Me falta la C, la D y la E. Ok. Ya casi entonces. Me imagino ya que ya... No sé si ahora o mañana va a terminar. Sí, en eso estoy. Ok, perfecto. Recordemos que hasta mañana en la medianoche, pero es mejor lo antes Ah, posible. hasta la noche. Ah, oh, ok. Es de que se puede okay. terminar antes y si tiene preguntas, pues ahí estamos. Está bien, gracias. Ok. Vamos a esperar a los demás compañeros un par de minutos. Va, está bien. Bueno, han querido venir. <ríe> Yo no me pude conectar ayer. Sí, es cierto, estuvimos ahí viendo que no pudo, ¿verdad? Pero, sí, pero... es que con eso de la universidad se me complicó. Sí, me imagino. Y fue bien, bien raro porque la, el video, bueno, si usted ve ahí arriba dice que está grabando, ¿verdad? Pero ayer ¿Sí? no, no lo grabó, no sé, entonces no pudimos subir el video. Tuve suerte. <risa> entonces, bueno, vamos a, ya vamos a iniciar. Vamos ya. a esperar un par de minutos. Mm. Hello, Flor, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good, and you? Very well. Welcome to the English class for today. <laughs> Thank you. Did you finish the platform already? Yes, I finished. Very good. Congratulations. So you're ready for uh, the next level on Monday. Yes, teacher. Very good. Proud of you. <laughs> No, los demás les ha agarrado la noche. Están entrenando. Ya no quieren entrar, teacher. Ya están ya, de vacaciones. Ya mucho inglés, dice, mucho los hago hablar. No, no. <risa> bueno, vamos a iniciar. We're going to start. Uh, yesterday, well, we're going to do a little review. Yesterday, we were checking about these uh, things. Do you remember? Um, that is the pair of simple present and present continuous. We were telling that for the simple present tense, we use the subject plus the verb. And for the continuous, we use uh, the subject plus the verb to be, and also the verb in ing. And also we were checking that uh, we use, for the simple present tense, we use that for general mm -hmm. truths, like it really rains in the desert, also to indicate present habits, like the birds return to the island every morning. And we also express timetable events, like the plane to London takes off at 6.30 a.m. And we can also uh, indicate permanent states, like I like the new James Bond film. So that is, those are some examples for the simple present tense. And for the present continuous, we have those to describe actions happening now for example, she is reading a newspaper upstairs that is going on in the moment. The next one is to express annoying habits. So for that one, we're going to use always. So we can say, you're always forgetting to pay the bills. That is not a good idea, right? That is something that is not good. And also to describe future arrangements that are like informal. She is getting married on the 3rd of November. And uh, we can also express temporary states like she's working at the museum until the end of this month. So those are things that we were checking yesterday. And uh, also, uh, well, we were checking that we can have those, or the simple present tense, we can use uh, those for the, for some kind of steady verbs. Verbs that are not actions, right? You don't do anything. So. In that situation, you are going to use the simple present tense, like, give me the money, I need it now. What happened? You look sad. And there were some other verbs that we were checking, like the senses, hear, see, smell, look, seem, and sound. For opinions, like believe, consider, like, love, hate, prefer, think, etc. Possession, have, own, belong, etc. 
uh, we have other verbs like agree, the verb to be, depend, need, mean, remember, realize, recognize, seem, and want. So that's what we were checking yesterday at the end of the class. Before we continue, do you have any question about this? Everything is clear. I'm happy about that. Okay, so today we're going to practice a little bit. You know that I really like eh, practicing. So what we're going to do is you are going to tell me uh, the correct form. Uh, you are going to see the verb there in the brackets. And you're going to tell me the sentence. Either is a simple present or present continuous. So, my friends, for number one, what do you think is going to be the answer? Uh -huh, somebody. He left the house. The number one. Okay, so look, he left the house. Mm, but that is simply mm -hmm. past. And we are practicing present. Simply present and present continuous. He leaves um, the house. Okay, so look, he leaves the house. Everybody agrees? What do you think? Mm, maybe he he's leaving the house. He's leaving look. the house. He's leaving the house. That is correct. Because it says look. So that means right now. In this moment. So if I say to you look. is right now. In the moment. So it's going to be the present continuous. Not the simple present. Look he's leaving the house. That is correct. Number two. Who is going to be. Quiet, please. I am writing a test. Very good. Quiet, please. I am writing a test. So at this time, quiet, please. I am writing a test right now in this very moment. Good. Number three, how is it going to be? She usually walks to school. Okay. He usually walks. Remember the S. Yes. If you Pass don't to a school. Okay. If you don't use the S yes there, it's not going to be correct. Everything is not correct. So it's very important for us to remember that in the third person. Third persons are going to be with the S or ES. So she usually walks to school. And of course, that is simple present tense. Number four, how is this going to be? But look, today she is going by la by bike. Very good. But look, today she is going by bike. So that is probably not in the moment. Maybe it's going to be a near future, something like that. But Or it can be in the very moment as well. But that is present continuous. Very good. She is going by bike. Number five. Every Sunday, we're going to see my grandparents. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, there was some interference. Could you please repeat? Um, um, every Sunday, we're going to see my grandparents. Okay. We are going or we go? We are, go we are going. We are going. Every Sunday, we are going to see my grandparents. What do you think? No. <laughs> Actually, it's not future because it says every Sunday. Every Sunday, we go to see my grandparents. We go. Yeah, because oh. it's not a third person, but that is correct. Every Sunday, we go 
to see my grandparents. Why is simple present and not present continuous? Because every Sunday, it means that it's a routine, an habit. And as you remember, we use the simple present tense for routines and habits. Okay, so in this situation, it's going to be we go. What about number six? He often goes to the cinema. He often goes to the cinema. Very good. Often. Avid. Adverse of frequency. And goes because it's he. Very good. Perfect. Number seven. We are playing Monopoly at the moment. Very good. We are playing Monopoly at the moment. That is it. Number eight. Who's going to be number eight? I am not doing anything at the moment. Number nine is like that. Yes, I am not doing anything at the moment. What about number eight? The child seldom, uh -huh. <coughs> any idea? Se pueden equivocar, no hay problema. The child cries, cries seldom? The child seldom cries. Very good, Brenda. That okay. is simple present tense. Because seldom is an adverse of frequency. Do you remember? Seldom is like rarely. So we can say the child seldom cries. Cries, right, with third person. What about number nine? Ah, oh, well, number nine, you said that already. I remember. Number 10. Is he watches the news regularly? Okay. Uh, is he watches the news regularly? What do you think? He is watching. Is he watching? Because it's a question. Is he watches the news regularly? Everybody agrees? Uh. No. Does, 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 does he watch does he watch watch the news regularly? Very good. Does he watch the news regularly? That is the key. Regularly. It's a, it's a, it's a question. That is a question. Does. Does. Uh, yeah. He person. Third, third person. Third person. Yeah. He. Mm -hmm. So the, the key here in this one is regularly. Regularly means an habit, a routine, adverse of frequency. Very good, very good. Let's go to the next ones. Um, okay, number one, how is it gonna be? This is Mark. This is, this is Mark. Me. Good. That is it. It's very easy, right? This is Mark. What about number two? He wears a t-shirt and shorts today. Okay. He wears a t-shirt and shorts today. Everybody agrees? Creo que también funciona. He is wearing a shirt. A t-shirt and shorts today. Actually, that is correct. He is wearing a t-shirt and shorts today because it's right now. So you look a person and you say, oh, he's wearing a t-shirt and shorts today. So that is correct. Good. Number three. He is eating an apple at the moment. 
good at the moment. So mm. he is eating an apple at the moment, right now. What about number four? I like fruits and vegetables. Mark likes fruits and vegetables. Very good. Likes third person. What about number five? He's eating some every, every day. Okay, he's eating some every day. Do you agree on that? Yes. Actually, it's not correct because it says every day. He routine. eats some every day. Uh, he's right. eating. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, you need to pay attention okay. on some words, right? Mm -hmm. So in this case, is he eats some every day mm -hmm. because it's every he eats. day. Mm -hmm. Good. What about number six? Mark knows that apple is good for his health. Very good. Mark knows that apples, but here is apples in plural. So it's going to be? Apples. R. 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 So Mark knows that apples are good for his health. That is it. Nice. Let's continue the practice. As you can see, sometimes it's, it's kind of difficult, right, to, to identify what will be the tense. And that happens a lot when we are talking. So number one. This is Caroline. This is Caroline, good. Number two. Caroline have long blonde hair. Caroline. Has, has, has. Has. Caroline has long blonde hair. Number three. She usually, usually wears glasses, but now she wearing Wearing contour lenses. Very good. Yeah, you can see here, we can use the two tenses in one sentence. So we can say, she usually wears glasses, but now she's wearing contact lenses. So that the one that are inside of the eye, right? Those are the contact lenses. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Number four. Caroline likes sport. Caroline likes sport. Perfect, Brenda. Nice. Number five. Play she plays handball every Monday and Thursday. Okay, she plays, right? She plays handball every Monday and Thursday. Let's see the other one. Number one is going to be. Joy and Dennis are best friends. Joe and Dennis are best friends. Good. Number two. They are they they are often meet in the afternoon. They are often meet in the afternoon. What do you think? They often Meeting in the after, afternoon. They often meeting in the afternoon. And now it's better? It's different, right? Actually, it's going to be they often meet in the afternoon. That is it. Because often is an adverb of frequency. So that is simple present tense. Okay? We don't change anything there. Number three, how is going to be? Uh-huh. 
what they doing at the moment. What are, are they, do doing? They, they good? What are they doing, they doing at, the, at the, moment? the moment? Because in the moment is present continuous, it's progressive, is ing. So where to be are and ing doing. Number four. They plays football. They plays football. Play. Play. And Good. play. Plays. They play football because it's not a third person. So it's going to be simple present, but we don't change the verb itself. What about number five? They love football. They love football. Love. Not third person. It's like the, the one that is before. Number six. Joy practices with his father every weekend, but Dennis not plays football very often. Okay, one is correct. Joe practices, very good. So it says with his father every weekend, but Dennis? Not plays. What, how is the name? Don't play, doesn't play. Doesn't play. Doesn't play. That is it. So Joe doesn't. practices with his father every Contraction weekend. Contraction, doesn't. Exactly. So you remember that you are not going to use only not. You use mm -hmm. aren't or you use done or doesn't. Yeah. Right? That is it. Uh, even with the past, didn't or haven't, hasn't. Mm -hmm. So that is it. Okay. We're negative. Going to, negative. Auxiliars in negative. So now we're going to continue with another exercise. This is a little bit more complete, let's say. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. So you're going to see here that uh, there are some simple questions. Okay. For example, in the first one, it says, uh, write the ing form of the following verbs. So you are going to tell me what to type. So it's going to be walk. How's going to be the ing form of walk? Walking. Walking. Very easy, right? Walking, like this one, right? Making. Yes. And this one is going to be. Ma no, no. Making. 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 Like this. No. 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 Update. All right. I remove Update. the e. Okay. Remove the letter. The. Okay. Wash. Washing. 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 What about this one? Lie. Lying. Remove the e. Lying. Okay. I remove the e and then. The E in the I and O. Okay. No, verdad. Yes, actually. Yeah, that's sí, good. Pone yeah. In. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so it's L and then. L-Y. Uh-huh. And? And, and I and N and T. Perfect. Lying. That and is lying. the one. <gasps> Casi se va toda la palabra. Yeah. So we need to be very careful, right? <laughs> Because it's different. <laughs> what about stop? Stopping. Double P. Double P. Very good. So that is stopping, stopping with double P. Nice, nice, nice. In the other one, it says, strike the die. I know that is Java. Uh, we're going to write uh, the third person. What is going to be the third person? Right. Right. Right, like that one, right? And kisses. Number... Kisses. 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 Yeah, we want kisses. Good. <laughs> and uh, the next one? Mm -hmm. Must. Must. Like that. Good. Good pronunciation. 
Must. Must. Loves. What about this one? Loves. 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 And this one? Goes. 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 Nice. Nice. Very good. Okay. This is interesting. Okay. For present actions happening one after another, we use the simple present or the present progress. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm, simple simple present. present. Everybody agrees? Simple present? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good, good. That is simple present. For actions happening while speaking. Presente progressive. Present, present progressive. Present progressive. Present progressive. Present progressive. Very good. For arrangements for the near future, we use? Mm. Present, present progressive. Present progressive. No progressive. Only progressive. Future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Present progressive. For actions set by schedule or timetable, we use? Simple, Simple present. present. Simple present. Simple present. Simple present. Which things do you have to use with the following signal words? Sometimes, never, every day. Simple uh, present. Simple present. Simple present. Simple present. Simple present. Good. And which things do you have to use with the following signal words? Listen at the moment, right now. Present, present progressive. progressive. Present progressive. Very good. Hey, you know that one. That is nice. Now it says complete the sentence and use simple present or present continuous. So, number one, how is it going to be? The lesson starts at sure. 9 o'clock. Starts with S, right? That is important. Yes. Nice. What about number two? Wears. He open he word. Wears, wears a black cap. A black cap. Wears a black cap. Very nice. What about number three? Meet. meet. I meet my friends in the job club tonight. Meet with no S, right? Because it's I. Meet. Yes. I meet with my friends or my friends in the job club tonight. Number four. Moves. My moves. friends moves house tomorrow. Moves. Very good. My friend moves house tomorrow. Number five. My, bra my, my birthday, birthday is in, in, September. in September. Nice. In, in, uh, my birthday uh, is in September. Is mine. Negative. How is going to be this one? She doesn't. Doesn't write. Doesn't write right now. She uh, doesn't she write. A, no, she doesn't she isn't writing write. Her right now. Oh, isn't. I know. She isn't writing. She isn't writing. Isn't right. That is it. Isn't. Oh, isn't, yes. Isn't writing. Like right. this. Writing. Yes, writing. Writing, like that one. Writing. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she isn't riding her bike right now. We because it's right now. We, uh huh. We, we aren't. Stayed at home tonight. We are staying. Stay. 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 I think we don't. We're staying because it's in the future. Mm, mm. But if it's in the know. future, it's also this one. But yeah, that is correct. We aren't staying okay. at home tonight. Okay. Number three. I don't like bananas. That is correct. I, I don't like bananas. Yes, like simple present. What about number four? They, they don't know they the answer. The answer. That is it. They don't know the answer. What about number five? I, I don't see don't sit in the sit garden. I don't see them. I'm not sitting. Sit, sitting in the garden. Sitting. Very At good. The I am not. And remember, sitting is with WT. Yeah. Yes. I am not sitting in the garden 
at the moment. That is the key, at the moment, right now. That's why it's present continuous. Okay, let's do some questions. Hi, teacher. Me estoy confundido. ¿Por qué? Tú vale, digo, sí, tú vale la otra, el que acabamos de hacer, que pusimos, en la tercera pusimos I don't like, y en la otra, porque pusimos I'm not sitting. Ah, porque en la no, primera. No, no sé. Vale, uh -huh. lo que tenemos que hacer, por eso estamos haciendo estos ejercicios. Es bien importante que cuando ya vayan llegando ya al intermedio, esto ya se maneja un poco más. No es perfecto, ¿verdad? It's not perfect. Uh -huh. Ahora, en la tercera, I don't like bananas, me está diciendo algo que es un sí, algo que es una verdad. A mí no me gusta. Una afirmación. That is it. No es que en el momento no me gusta, ¿verdad? Son, siempre no me uh -huh. gusta. En uh -huh. la otra, I am not sitting in the garden at the moment. Ahorita, uh -huh. en el momento. Es presente progresivo. Es progresivo. ¿ah? Yo no estoy sentado en el jardín ahorita, en este momento. Uh, ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, entonces eso... en, el, en el progresivo vamos a usar am, um, is y are. Ah, exacto. El progresivo, uh, si se recuerda ayer, más o menos estuvimos viendo eso, que es el sujeto, sí. luego va el verbo to be, y luego va el verbo en ING, gerundio se llama. Igual en las preguntas uh -huh. también cambiamos, ¿verdad? Cambiamos el verbo to be a, a adelante o lo pasamos a, a negativo con isn't or aren't o I am not. Ese es el uh -huh. progresivo. Pero lo interesante es cuando lo utilizamos. Ahora imaginémonos esto, por eso lo estamos haciendo así, primero ahorita, porque después lo vamos a hacer hablado, ¿verdad? Y pues ahí tenemos que ah, meter... Sí meter el que es, ¿verdad? Porque ese es el problema que estamos teniendo ahorita. Que hablamos, y sí usamos el verbo que queremos usar, pero de repente usamos el tiempo, el tiempo. que no es. Ajá. Ajá. Entonces, es normal. Es normal porque es un proceso, ¿verdad? Es un proceso en el que nosotros vamos aprendiendo e identificando este va aquí, este va allá. Ajá. Pero pues tenemos que practicarlo para poder manejarlo mejor. Teacher, pero la tú y la fan están en progresivo y están diferentes. Ah, no, estamos en la, en la tú Ajá. y en la otra utilizamos diferentes, en la cuatro. Eh, bueno, es el mismo tiempo, la dos y la, sí. perdón, dice la dos y la cuatro. Eh, sí. Vaya, en la dos dice, we are not staying at home tonight. Entonces, aquí. Está progresivo. Está progresivo porque es como un futuro uh -huh. muy cercano que yo digo, ¿verdad? Nosotros no nos vamos a quedar en casa en la noche. En cambio, uh -huh. la cuatro dice, they don't know the answer. Ellos no saben la respuesta. No es que no la saben ahorita. Uh -huh. No la, la saben. Okay. Una afirmación. Igual que nosotros. Es que es igual que en español. Imagínense que estamos hablando en español y yo les digo, yo comer bananas, sí, me gustan. Entonces, <risa> ustedes me entienden. ¿verdad? Pero el, sí. el verbo no está en el, en el tiempo, tiempo adecuado. No hay el tiempo. Esa, eso, lo mismo pasa en inglés. En inglés, si yo digo, o sea, alguna cosa que no es el tiempo, se va, se va a escuchar así. Se va a escuchar yo corriendo en la noche. Ajá. Pero, pero, ajá. El, el, tal vez la otra persona le va a entender la idea porque, pues, las palabras, los verbos son correctos. Pero no, se, no es correcto como lo estamos diciendo. La estructura. Exacto. Entonces, el tiempo es importante identificar cuál va en qué momento. Porque cuando estemos hablando, cuando estamos hablando, hablamos. Si ustedes se dan cuenta, y de hecho mañana esperamos llegar a eso, vamos a mezclar los cuatro tiempos, ¿verdad? Podemos hablar en presente simple, en presente continuo, en pasado simple y en presente perfecto. Y si ustedes logran hacer eso, ya, ya básicamente pueden hablar inglés. Solo nos faltarían ciertas cosas, porque sí hay unas cosas que son muy importantes. Pero esa es la base. Casi todo el tiempo, si ustedes se fijan en español, hablamos en presente, en eh, presente continuo, en pasado o en presente perfecto. Son los cuatro tiempos que más se utilizan. Entonces, si ustedes pueden manejar okay, eso, it will be very good. Ahora, es un proceso. ¿verdad? Por eso, that's why we're practicing. Because... Yeah, we need to, esas preguntas que me hacen son bien interesantes. Mire, ¿por qué hay eso? No, no, no entiendo, ¿verdad? Porque usted está ah, analizando. Sí, sí. ¿Y por qué usted? Pues si aquí se parece esto a lo otro. That is good. 
okay it's good because you are thinking mm -hmm, that is that is not the same it's different so we're going to use this tense here and this other tense other so that is important y luego ya vamos hablado verdad porque a veces son como tres fases la primera es esa la de ahorita como que me di pero por qué no entiendo la siguiente es cuando ustedes ya están hablando y ustedes solitos se corrigen no no es así es así y ya la uh -huh. última fase es cuando ya hablamos verdad normal ya ya ni pensamos que estamos hablando en qué tiempo Ok, bueno, so, teacher, thank you. it's a pleasure. Uh, so, what is going to be number one here for the questions? Oh, oh chica, teacher. De no <laughs> pensar. Of course. Dios mío, la question tenemos que hacer. Por eso, oh, por eso lo primero es escrito. A mí me gusta primero traer ejercicios escritos para ya hablado, ya, ya vamos un poquito más afilado. So. When it's, when it's this. When it's the plane arrive. When no. is. The plane arrive. Ay, no. Right. <laughs> Malamente, All teacher. Right. Ay, no, problem. Dios mío. No se preocupen que es normal. <laughs> But lo primero, the first thing that we need to understand is what are when. we talking about. ¿De qué estamos hablando? Eso es en el momento, Vaya. o es algo regular, algo que pasa siempre, o es un state. Eso es lo primero que tienen que analizar para saber qué tiempo vamos a utilizar. Vaya, ese es, me imagino que en el momento, tiene mm -hmm. que ser, o un instinto va. Vaya, ¿por qué cree que es en el momento? ¿Hay algo en la oración que le está diciendo a usted? ¿Es en el momento o es en el Sí, futuro? que va a aterrizar el, el, el volado, el plane, ¿qué significa el avión? Sí, sí, vaya. Pero allí lo que usted me está diciendo es lo que usted entiende, que, es, que va a aterrizar futuro. Pues sí. Pero si bueno, usted lo... Es... ¿Cuándo, verdad? ¿A cuándo? ¿Cuándo bueno. aterrizar el avión? <risa> Ajá, when, is, when is when is arriving the plane? When is arriving the plane? Very the plane. good. Okay, that is a possibility. Yeah, when is arriving the plane? That is nice. Esta no la vamos a escribir porque si no no terminamos. The other one, number two, says. You are visiting. Are you visiting? Are you visiting? Are you visiting? In hospital are today. You, are you visiting? That is it. Are you visiting Jane in the hospital or in hospital today? Yeah, that is that is correct. Number uh -huh. three. Ah, this is easy. <sighs> what time? Do you do you join? Uh, are you? Are you getting up in the mornings? Or are, or are you getting up? Uh -huh. Are What you getting time? up in the morning? Es el de las dos formas, teacher. Uh, Pero ahí no. que dice, what time hay a qué horas? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ese es uno de los problemas que ah, estamos haciendo. Entonces haciendo. es algo concreto. Ma. Lo, uh -huh. que, lo que pasa es que también nos pasa esta situación que también he identificado que pasa porque es normal en este en este nivel cuando nosotros vemos eso empezamos a traducir mm -hmm. not good yes porque I cuando know. yo traduzco yo por ejemplo yo usted está leyendo esa va, vamos a ver la tres what time a qué hora te estás mm -hmm. levantando yo si lo interpreto de esa manera ya digo a qué hora te estás levantando ah mm -hmm. ese, y levantando entonces es higiene pero ese levantando ah. lo dije yo en español. Allí no dice Ajá. eso. Pero ahí está preguntando quizás a qué hora se levanta todos los días. Todos los días. That mm -hmm. is the key. Ah. Es que esa es la clave. Lo que tienen que ver en las oraciones es algo que les diga. No necesariamente tiene que ser el verbo, porque el verbo es lo que yo voy a transformar. Tienen que buscar en todo lo demás, en what time, eh, y aquí en in the mornings, algo que les diga que es uno o es el otro. The si, mornings, ajá, todas las mornings. Todas las mornings. Si es todas las mornings, ¿qué es? 
Entonces, presente per, eh, simple presente. Ahí presente está. Simple. Así ah, es el What time energy. are you get up in the morning? Eso what no está correcto. What time are you get up in the morning? What, no, what time get you get up? up? I know. Do what you? time you do get up? Do you? Entonces, ahí tenemos que recordar. Oye, ya dije primero, ay, no me equivoqué, qué barbaridad. Lo que pasa es de que vaya, es lo primero que tienen que hacer. Bastante primero tienen que ir a ver qué es lo que voy a usar, qué tiempo. Y cuando ya sé qué tiempo, pues, ah, como es pregunta, y veo you, ¿verdad? No es does, es do. do. What do. time uh -huh. do you get up in the mornings? Entonces, aquí es donde venimos a unir todo, ¿verdad? las reglas y todo. Pero traten de visualizar en los complementos, porque el verbo es lo que yo voy a transformar. Ese es el que yo quiero cambiar. Entonces, ¿cómo lo voy a transformar? Me lo va a decir el resto de la oración. Por ejemplo, número cuatro. ¿Qué le dice a ustedes algo ahí? Number ah, que es que right now, fue el now. progresivo en este momento. Progresivo. Entonces, ¿Why is she crying now? That is it. Very easy. Why is I she crying now? I'm crying because I don't understand English. Actually, you did this correct. Esta la hizo correcto. Entonces, <risa> pero ese es, ese es el análisis que tenemos que ir haciendo, ¿verdad? Eh, a now. O sea, después solo van a ver el now y van a decir, ah, why is she crying now? That is it. Right. Pero el propósito okay. de esta práctica es esto, que, que sí veamos que se revuelven, pero que no es uno o el otro. Que es este porque hay, ahí en la oración estamos haciendo algo, ¿ok? okay. So, number five, very easy. Are they swimming in the pool at the moment? Perfect. That is it. At the moment, right? So, are they swimming in the pool at the moment? That is it. Okay, and this is the last part. Okay, uh, number one. I live in London. I live in London. Live, not lives. Live is only he, she, it. <laughs> I live in London. I live in London. I live in London. Aha. Pero en esa oración también es correcto decir I am living in London. La verdad es que sí, pegan. O sea, la diferencia es qué es lo que yo quiero decir. O sea, podemos agregar un contexto ahí. Lo que pasa es que uh -huh. es un... Uh -huh. At the moment. Lo que pasa es esto. For now. Este es un párrafo entero. Lo que dice uh -huh. el compañero es verdad. Ahorita ya no solo tenemos que venir a ver la oración, sino que tenemos que venir a ver todo el párrafo. Pero como estamos iniciando, es verdad. Ahora, sí puedo uh -huh. decir, I live in London, porque puede ser que yo... Usted puede decir, yo vivo en San Salvador. Y lo está haciendo ahorita, ¿verdad? Pero es una rutina. ¿Ok? So, let's say that in this case, both might be possible. Para los, dis los demás es donde vamos a ir viendo. ¿Ok? For example, okay. number two says this weekend. Uh -huh. He's visiting my friend. This weekend, in I visit. Uh -huh. Visiting. Visiting. This weekend. Visiting. So, I it's going, going to be visiting. Visiting. No, visiting. Visit. No, tiene que ser visiting, porque es un near future. Near future, But, that is it. Uh -huh. that this is weekend. Future. This weekend. Uh -huh. No lo dice, lo dice ahí el fin de semana que viene. Pero si uh -huh. estoy platicando Pero... con usted, se entiende que si, si ahora es jueves uh -huh. o miércoles, yo le digo, ah, este fin de semana, ah, pues ya sabe que es futuro. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. este fin de semana, ajá. Uh -huh. so en el día está la clave. That is it. So this weekend, I'm visiting my friends in Brighton. I'm visiting. Okay. Because I'm vis I'm I am visiting. I am visiting. Si no ponen el verbo to be, it's not correct. So uh, okay. Be careful. Uh -huh. Number three. The train to Brighton leaves London at six, six, six forty-five in the morning. morning. That's Very good. Porque esa es una timetable, es un schedule, es algo que el tren Ajá, todos los días hace. Ah, ya ven qué fácil. Solo tenemos que ver eso. Es rutina, es el futuro, es ahorita. And that's it. Ajá. So the train to Brighton leaves London at 6.45 in the morning. Good. Number four. In the early afternoon, we... We... Want to go. 
We want to go. That is. We it. want to go. Uh huh. We so, want to go. Uh, queremos ir. Yeah. So in the early afternoon, we want to go on a sightseeing tour. Do you know what is sightseeing? I don't know, teacher. No, no. teacher. Que eso nunca lo había visto la palabra. Okay. Ay, ¿Qué pasa que pasa con Ya vamos cambiando de nivel, ¿verdad? Sí. Bueno, ya se va sí. acabando la clase, ya no vamos a hacer pre-intermedio, ya vamos a hacer. <laughs> So, ahora vamos a ver otro vocabulario. Sizing. That is like when you go on vacation or on a tour and you are seeing things. Okay? Mm -hmm. When you, for example, when you go, imagine that you are in, in Paris and you see the Eiffel Tower. And you say, wow, that uh -huh. is fantastic. That is sizing. That exactly. Sizing. Sizing. Good. Number five. In the evening, we, we, we are going to a concert. We are going to a concert. Very good. Because that is a future plan, right? En la primera es queremos, no sabemos si vamos a ir. En la segunda es iremos. So that is future. Mm -hmm. In the evening, we are going to a concert. And then number six. The concert starting. starts at eight o'clock. That is it. It's a schedule. So the concert starts, starts at 8, eight o'clock. Nice. Number seven. I am coming I back to coming London, back on, to London Sunday. on Sunday. Coming. Very good. Future again. I'm coming back to London on Sunday. Coming. Good. And number eight. My, My friend arrives in I London. It arrives. Arriving. At seven. Arriving. In London at arrive. 15 in arrive the evening. Es porque ya está. Aquí tenemos dos no, situaciones. Uh, Yo creo que arrive. se están basando en el futuro. Mm, Sin okay. embargo, ven ahí que dice a las 7:00. Ya está. Es schedule. Uh -huh. De la noche. Ya so está. Pues, pues. Which one is correct? Okay. My train arrives. Arrives. In London. In London. Mm -hmm. At at seven, 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 seven. In the evening. Very good. Very good, my friends. All right. Okay. It's correct. Did you... Arrives. Yeah, All because right. it's a schedule. Arrives. Okay. Arrives. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, it's, it's arrives. Arrives. Okay. 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 It's my train. Okay. Okay. It's a cosa, pues. El tren. <laughs> El tren, pues. Uh -huh. Good, my friends. Uh, do you have any questions about? Si se dan cuenta, sí, al principio uh, no tocaba, pero al, al bien, final pues, era como que, no, ¿verdad? Porque es así, ya ustedes... Ya la llamo. Por qué. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> That is fantastic. We, ok. ¿Cómo dice clave en inglés? Uh, how do you say yeah. what? Clear. 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 We... Mm. Ay, no, ya ni puedo decir lo que quiero decir. We found the clear. Ah, okay, the, encontramos la, la clave. clave. Ah, okay, clave. the clear. Clave sería como uh, the key. I, we found the key. Ah, uh, okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Um, so let me check what will be the next topic because we have just a few more minutes. Mm, okay, we're not going to do this. Okay. Um, ahora que está la mayoría, uh, alguien falta determinar la plataforma. Ya finish, todo. Yes, Yo no, ya okay. terminaron todo. Yes. Ya Pero se lo examen no he hecho, teacher. Ok, entonces sí hay que tratar de hacerlo lo más antes que se pueda. Pronto. Okay. Por cualquier situación que pueda pasar en la plataforma, en el internet, se va la luz, nos pasa una emergencia mm -hmm. y pues, okay. sí, verdad, hay que tener cuidado. Si no ha terminado, mañana hágalo, si se puede, en el día. Mañana vamos a revisar en la última unidad the final test eh, y vamos a hacer un poco más de práctica mañana vamos a revisar también otra vez the simple past and the present perfect y eh, vamos a tener un, um, una práctica vamos a ver si hacemos algunas conversaciones tratando de unir todos los tiempos ahora si usted se equivoca no se preocupe that is that is normal, uh, yeah, it's normal. I mean we are learning Así hasta los gringos que ahí nacen allá no hablan bien a veces, entonces usted no se preocupe. Ahora sí es interesante pues, sí. que nos escuchemos, ¿verdad? que al hablar nosotros estemos 
aware, que estemos, que nos demos cuenta de qué estamos utilizando, qué verbos, qué palabras, cómo se escucha. A veces solo con el sonido decimos, no, eso como que no, ¿verdad? No, no se escucha. Uh -huh. Entonces, otra cosa que vamos a hacer también mañana es un, un reading. Yo creo que mucho, mucho que los readings ayudan mucho. Hay mucho vocabulario y ustedes pueden ver ahí estructuras un poquito más complejas. Eh, pueden ir aprendiendo también cómo se dice, cómo se hace cierta cosa. Hay cosas en los readings también que, que no van a encontrar como en un libro de gramática. Por ejemplo, no sé si alguna vez ustedes han escuchado que dicen los gringuitos. She ain't. She ain't my friend. Ain't. Que se escribe a i n apostrophe and b. Ain't. She ain't my friend. She ain't a sí, ya la escuché. Eso no lo van pues, a encontrar en ¿qué ningún significa libro. Eso? Ah, ¿qué creen ustedes que significa? Ain't. Ain't. Es como una contracción, es. Es una, contracción. una contracción. ¿Y de qué será la contracción? ¿De qué usted, por Dios? <risa> <risa> no me ocurre. <risa> Quiero ver. Ain't. Puchica, como que si fuera el, cuando quiero decir, I am, como That is negativo. It. De hecho, es el verbo to be, pero eso Imagínate. es hablar, eso es hablar incorrecto. ¿verdad? Qué bárbaro, y nosotros, Qué es los gringos. Es very informal, por eso no lo van a encontrar en un libro de gramática. She ain't, pero lo Pero, ¿qué es, lo que, ¿qué es lo que quiere encontrar, pues? Uh, lo, el lo que verbo pasa to es que... be. Es el verbo to be, pero lo dicen de esa manera. Es una manera muy antigua de decir she is not or we are not or something like that. Pero en gramática ah, no existe porque no es correcto. O sea, en ningún libro lo van a encontrar. Pero si ustedes de repente lo leen un reading, es como que she ain't my, my sister. Ah, pues ya, ya van a saber ustedes eh, qué es el verbo no es to be. Ah. Ajá. Pero que es informal. Eso es como el gonna o el wanna, que sí se enseña Ajá. a veces. Pero eso es como no, cuando... No, eso es tan bonito. Pero es incorrecto, por ejemplo. Eso es como cuando decimos en español, voy a ir a la tienda. Voy a ir, si vas a ir, no, no voy a ir. Exactamente eso es, eso es hablar mal, pero se utiliza, ¿verdad? O sea, no es que, sí. que sea prohibido usarlo, ¿verdad? Pero es importante que ustedes sepan eso, que son situaciones que a veces en los readings venimos a encontrar y enriquecen nuestro vocabulario. Entonces, mi consejo es, porque ya vamos terminando ya mañana es último día y por si se me olvida, ¿verdad? lean en inglés. Cosas sencillas. No vayan a comprar un libro porque los libros tienen mucho vocabulario <risa> raro. Raro, raro. Mucho sí, que es el... cierto. Entonces, cosas sencillas, cosas como, no sé, hay muchos readings que pueden buscar en internet para aprender Hombre, vocabulario. Pues, y ver, y ver más o menos cómo van las situaciones de la gramática. So tomorrow we're going to check a reading. We're going to check also uh, the last part of the, of the um, platform. And also we're going to practice a little bit more of conversation so we can. Uh, I know we are going to check also the simple past and the present perfect so we can practice the, the four if it's possible, the four tenses together, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. It's a pleasure. Okay. For the class of today, do you have any question? No, no question, teacher. Okay, my friends, so it was a pleasure. Tomorrow is our last day for this uh, module for the pre-intermediate. So um, I hope you all come to the final class and uh, I hope you have a very good night, a wonderful night and good night then. Thank you. Okay. Thank good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good